dead and several missing. This has spiralled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Very well. I'll help you. Jonathan, please. I can't rely on anyone else. And this concerns you as it involves vampires. Someone has taken advantage of our more liberal tendencies here. In what way? Jonathan, I may turn my head when you or her ladyship indulge, but I will not allow this place to become a nest for street feeders. Please then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Well, they are not far wrong. The hospital is almost crawling with vampires. McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You, you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. If you don't mind, I have a... F well, I'd be delighted to help. I just recently met the strangest creature in Whitechapel. He was immense. He mocked me and accused me of hypocrisy. Perhaps it was a skull. London's streets are overflowing with them these days. It was a vampire, all right. But what kind, I'm not sure. He was large and very fast. If you find anything more about this creature, the Brotherhood would greatly appreciate any information you could spare. He was observing me with the obvious intent to do me harm. His very presence evoked a palpable sense of menace. You need to be careful, Jonathan. You've no idea what this creature really is. What exactly happened here while I was absent? Hampton turned, quite violently as it happened. Lurking about, attacked Miss Jones. To say he created quite a commotion would be an understatement. How did the guard of Prewen come to hear of this? McCallum has spies everywhere. He will jump at any opportunity to disparage the Brotherhood and show his contempt. Are you sure it was Hampton who killed Miss Jones? There was blood everywhere, but no body. And you know the state she was in? I fear for what he did with her. Hopefully, he just hid the corpse. I recently tried to enter a church. It has been a very unpleasant experience. The Brotherhood's research on the matter of faith and vampirism has proved somewhat insubstantial, to say the least. Is this proof that I'm cursed in the eyes of the Divine? The wrath of the Almighty? There's no way of knowing. It could be subconscious guilt, or irrational fear, or deep-seated beliefs. It's hard to explain in terms of science, that's for sure. I'm sure Lady Ashbury will have far greater insight into this matter than little old me. Who was that man in your office? Geoffrey McCullum, actual leader of the Guard of Prewen. I suspect he's the man behind the rebirth of this old and dusty society. They know I'm here now, don't they? I understand your need for blood and will not get in your way. But if you could refrain from feeding within these walls, it would go a long way to defending your case. 
What do they hope to achieve? Their ultimate goal is the eradication of all vampires in the country. They see you as a threat to mankind, Jonathan. Thank you, Edgar. Sean has... Hampton lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. What can you tell me about the recent events in the hospital? That Mr. Hampton killed Miss Jones in her room, then ran away. And did you see all this? No. I was working by the tents when it all happened. I only entered the room when they asked me to clean up the blood. Where is Miss Jones's body? I don't know. I'd imagine the morgue. It all happened so quickly. Did you see Sean Hampton leave the hospital? I think I saw a silhouette exiting the hospital gates after the shouting started. At first I thought it was someone who was just scared, but well, maybe it was him. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. The pain. It's there again. What on earth happened here? They have discussed what I've missed. I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. Good evening. And good evening. Goodbye, Dr. Street. Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. Good evening, Dr. Rick. Is there anything else that's bo- Really? Unfortunately. Well, perhaps you're right, Dr. Reed. Goodbye for now. Believe my eyes, poor woman, butchered by some savage scal. Yes, and I'm afraid I'm at least partially responsible. The man, the scal, I brought him here. Jonathan, how could you say such a thing? Forgive me if I feel despondent, for there seems to be no end to the suffering and death. That surrounds us. I'm always here for you, Jonathan. What do you know of Ascalon? I was threatened by a creature, a vampire in Whitechapel, stating I had to obey the law of conduct. What more can you tell me about him? He was bigger than a man, huge, in fact. He seemed to radiate violence. I thought he was going to tear me apart. Then he vanished. Fergal the executioner of Ascalon. You were fortunate he was not after you, but rather outdoing his master's bidding. What is Ascalon? The Ascalon Club are the most powerful vampires in Britain and exert tremendous influence. Take my advice and stay well away.
I have experienced a certain difficulty when faced with holy symbols or trying to enter religious buildings. Have you? Now that's quite a question. I don't know why, but yes, it has happened to me. Is this a sign? The hand of God in action? Are we repellent unto heaven? I don't have the answers, Jonathan. But I believe superstition and magic is just fact awaiting the lens of science. Aren't you frightened? Very little scares me, my dear. To be compelled to avoid symbols of faith does not concern me. Thank you, my lady. I hope to see you... Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Do I'd like to wise choice. It seems the Prewin are redoubling their patrols in the district. There must be more. I'm safe place right now, sir. Ah! 
This is no place for you, sir. This is an impressive knife. There's a name engraved on the metal. Clay. What kind of man puts his name on a knife?
Opium is one of the main ingredients of Strickland's medication. Never a good move. Braille. I need someone who can read this.
Get the fuck out, you crazy bastards! <laughs> you won't get me here! Are you all right, sir? What are you doing in a place like this? I'm not sure that's any of your business. I hope you realize that staying here will put your life at great risk. Bah! I'm not afraid of these guards of Prewen, or whatever these thugs call themselves. I can still kick some respect into those youngsters. I wasn't specifically referring to them, but are you really after these men? Why? They took my boy! I've had no news since he joined that crazy gang. So I decided to come and find him myself, to get some answers. I see. But as I said, your life is at risk if you stay here. And I'm not referring to the gangs either. You should leave, sir. Well, this part of town used to be nicer, let's say. Perhaps you're right. This isn't the best way to save Andrew. under the blood on the back of the case. Jack Gillingham. Maybe I should return this watch to his family. <laughs> 